Okay for it. Sometimes unfortunate things happen like uh, you drop the can and it snaps and the piece is still in there and there's nothing in there. So if you have a WD-40 can, they usually come with one of these. They can stick into there. That's not what we're doing. We're going to get a drill bit, the same size as WD-40. Don't put it in your mouth because there's drill this hole out. Try not to get dirty. Don't push too hard. You'll get pain all over you. And only about five mil. You don't want to block the nozzle tip yep. with the hose. And you don't want to puncture your can. That's right. So then we'll pop that in there. Hose fits in nice. Fits in nice and tight. We'll just cut a section. Mm, tastes nice, beautiful. Yeah. Small section, yeah. not too big. Make sure the hoop the you haven't pinched over the Yep, hoop. so just just still works, it's fine. Play through it, so it works. And then we yeah. pop stand, it in. Stand out of the way. Fuck me. Works good. <laughs> Push it in. Yeah, I pushed it too hard. It sprays automatically. It's like a spray gun. No, I don't think it's sitting in there properly. No, that, this one broke at the very tip. Yeah, so it's got minimal chance. No, no, it's not in. It's not in. Uh, this nozzle I broke once before. As you can see, no leaks like Dennis's. And it's just a little bit of hose put inside that little bit of hose. See how this one's not broken off below the, the thing there, so made it a lot easier. Whereas Dennis's had snapped off right at the very bottom, which got it stuck underneath the thing there. That's why paint was shooting out. But if you ever have an issue, that's what you do.